Hi everybody, I'm welcome back to the Hunter's Info Channel. Today I do have the Oppo Reno 14 and I'm going to tell you what to do if your mobile data isn't working. So at first we need to open settings and here open mobile network. Here you should see mobile data and this switch. Apart from that you should see your SIM card detected here. If you have it grey, turn it on, but if you have it blue, turn it off and then back on. Now everything should be working right now, but if it isn't, you have to go straight to your SIM card settings over here. Tap that and tap access point names. Here in the general you should see your internet. It doesn't matter what the name is, this is the internet one and this is the transmitter that gives you the internet. Make sure that it's selected over here. Now you can go back and check if everything works fine. If it does, your issue is fixed. But if it isn't, close your phone, let me take this floor away, and prepare yourself something like this. This is the SIM card tray opener. And now we have to find the SIM card tray on our phone, which is here. Put this pin in this hole right here. And like that. Here, remove this SIM card tray. Now, as I can see, our SIM card is over here. So what to do now? Now, I do recommend to remove this SIM card from the tray. And to do so, you can place your finger right here, over here, and just take it right away. It can be difficult, it's because this is small, but as I can see, I managed to do so. Let me lower this phone like this. And now I do recommend to take the wet cloth and maybe not wet, just soft cloth, not wet cloth, pardon me, and wipe down the surface of the SIM card over here. Just be very soft, very delicate with this SIM card. And now, as you can see with here, we have an arrow. Verify the placement of the SIM card and place it like the uh, like the Oppo wants you to. Like this. Here you should hear a click and your SIM card should be on the same level like your uh, tray. Now you can find your SIM card tray here back again and place it back into your phone. And now everything should be working fine. But, uh, for example, you may have your mobile network not working because of the uh, because of the eSIM which can be enabled. As I can see in this phone, we have two SIM slots, and I play and I have placed my SIM card to the second slot. So go to the settings, mobile network, and here now as I can see, it's back again in SIM two. If we enable the eSIM, you can see that. The second SIM is disabled, and that's why your mobile data may not work. Here, as you can see, we do have, we do have no eSIM, disable eSIM to use SIM 2, and mobile data is grey. Tap on eSIM and disable that. Or just change places of your, uh, of your SIM to the number 1. Now, you can turn on mobile data, and everything should be working fine. But if it isn't working yet, we have to close the settings, prolong the control panel like like that from the top right corner to the middle, and now we have to find the airplane mode icon, which is here. Toggle it for a moment on and off. It can take a few seconds actually. This will restart all your data uh, things, like for example Bluetooth, mobile network, etc., Wi-Fi. If you don't see this icon here, tap this pen icon and search in these bottom icons for this airplane, hold it and drag to the icons like that. Now we can go back, go back, and it should be working right now. But still, if it isn't, uh, take off, I mean, take out your SIM card and check it in, in the different phone that you are sure it works. If your SIM card works here, something's wrong with your with your hardware. But if it doesn't work, it isn't working here, take uh, any other SIM card and place it in your phone. 
if there's uh, if some other SIM card works on your phone, the SIM card is your issue. So contact the carrier to verify the data plan. But if it still doesn't work on your phone, you have to go to the settings and scroll all the way down to the system and update. Tap backup and reset and here tap re reset phone. Here tap reset network and Bluetooth settings. Draw the lock screen pattern. And here, as you can see, we do have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile network settings will be all reset. So what you have to do is stop reset now. Every single Wi-Fi network you have added, Bluetooth device you have added, you will be resetted and erased and you have to add them back again. But now every issue should be solved and your data should be working fine now. And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leave a like under this video. It's really important to us to have your feedback. And that's it. Hope it helps you and have a nice day. Goodbye.